Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to today's video. We are back in my studio, really weird, really weird to be sat here, but I forgot how pretty this looks, so I'm quite pleased to be back. You will see an array of stuff behind me. A lot of it is the same stuff, it's just very overgrown. Quick tour before we begin today's video. I have up there, you might be able to see it, that is an Enjoy Pothos. There's some cream splash that's not looking as creamy next to it. Here we have some forgetty eye. We have my beautiful Spiritus that is getting there. We have a huge Maranta Silver Band, by the way. That is my Maranta Silver Band. And let me tell you, if I show you the size of these leaves, look at the size of that. It's gorgeous. We have a queen here. We have a little bit of mixed alocasia here. We have Marble Queen Pothos up there. And we have another queen there. And a whole bunch of other stuff. There's actually a Hoya here that you might be able to see hanging down with some blooms on. We've got some stuff basically guys. Today's video is a little bit of a cute fun one. I wanted to show you my top favorite plants that I have in my shop right now that happen to be variegated. We have quite a bit of yellow variegation. I think we've got some white variegation. We do have a mix, but I'll be honest, it leans a little bit more towards the yellow side. But I want to show you them because there's a couple of little surprises in here that are really cute. So without further ado, Let's just get straight into it. Now, this little guy is actually really cute, and a few of you might incorrectly guess what he is. I'm going to just show it to the camera, and I'm going to give you a few seconds to guess what he might be. I know that there's like a running round. There. Uh, quick little guess. Uh, it's focusing on a really random point. It's focusing on one ball of black eye. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? What did you guess? Because this is actually variegated alocasia zebrina of all things. If you guys remember a while ago, I did have a variegated zebrina. It was a long time ago. Now, it reverted and I had to do a little bit of magic to bring it back. But a little bit of magic, and I don't really like to recommend it on this channel, it's a bit destructive. Okay, so I've made a few comments before on how to get the variegation back if your alocasia has just reverted. The problem is that no one will want to do it, so I tend not to recommend it. But what I actually had to do was to take the alocasia all the way back to the comb. And basically, because the variegation is inside the comb, you get more of a chance. I recommend doing it, but I don't recommend doing it, if that makes sense. I'm not about to tell people to start smashing their plants up or starting to cut everything off. But that's what I did. And ever since I've done that, honestly, this has been the most stable thing. And you can probably probably see because since its inception, right, when it's grown here, again, sorry, it's focusing on the wrong thing, but since it's grown, it's done nothing but be super, super, super stable. It's got really nice variegation on it, so that worked really well. I didn't know if it would. And don't get me wrong, guys, it is a bit of a gamble. It's highly likely that you're going to have some variegation come back if you've got enough variegation in the comb. It's not guaranteed, but it is quite likely. So I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying it can be done. But that's my variegated Sabrina of all things. You guys are really going to like this next plant. And I mean, really. Now, this plant, I've, I've had more than one of these. I complain about these all the time. It's not a plant that I love. I think I've just had really shit luck with it. But I have here that I'm about to show you a variegated billetai. And it is, I think it's the same billetai as the one that I brought back from Thailand in 2020. And it looked absolutely amazing. I think it had like 50-50 variegation. Never a good thing. I've talked about this a lot before. I should probably make a video on that actually. So I'm going to show you it. It's not strong variegation, but honestly guys, I need you to understand that I've had this thing a year and it was putting out just green and it just decided one day to put out variegation. So it's low. I'm not saying that this is like a super win or anything because it ain't, but considering that it could have reverted into nothing, it is a win. You feel me? We'll see how this one goes. So this is the newest leaf here, if I can show you. Now there is some on it. There's some up here and there's some on the tip. There's not a ton of variegation. You then progress downwards to this one here, which has, well, not a lot at all. Sorry, I know again, it's focusing on my face. I'm doing my best. Is it gonna? Come on, come on. It's just not gonna happen today, is it? You get a little bit on there anyway. Then we go down to this one, which was actually quite decent. Let's have a little look at that. You see that? That's much better. And then we move down to this big one here that had nothing on it. Literally, is there any speck on this? No, there is not one speck on the lower leaf. And honestly, I have had this thing for ages. I was going to give up on it. I think at the time I brought it down from the top shelf here and I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it one more go. One more go to see if it gives me something. And it did, because what was the next one again? It was this. It gave me this and I was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. 
So it is a shadow of any variegated build tie I've ever had. Do not get me wrong. I am not flexing. This is like the, the worst flex you could ever have for a variegated build tie. But it technically is. On technicality, it's variegated build tie. I don't know what to make of it. Because the thing is, you won't see this, I don't think. See if I can show you the variegation of the petioles. Oh no, you kind of can. It was focused for like one second. You see that there a little bit anyway? You can see some of the variegation in the petiole. It is there and it is good. It's just not, it's not doing it. Half moon, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. You end up with this shit. Very proud of it though, because it's better than nothing, right? I just wish it was stronger. So we'll see how it goes. And honestly, if this thing starts looking sexy, believe me, you will be the first to know. You will be the first to know. It will be on Instagram. It will be on here. It will be in the background. It will be on a poll. I will have the best time. But until then, we're left with this. But it is something. It is something. Honestly, guys, if they were more reliable, I would buy some in for the shop, even though they've got a high price tag, but they're just kind of not. They, I find them really difficult. Let me know if you feel the same, because, I mean, you know what I think about these. I run about those all the time. Anyway, I'm going to move on before I get too salty. Now, I am going to flex the variegation on this one, because this is quite good. And honestly, I have a lot of these that are very good. I've taken a shit ton of propagations of these. This is, this has not been propped. This has been left as it is. It does need a pole. It's kind of flopping. This is Florida Beauty, by the way. Filled in Florida Beauty. I've taken a lot of propagations of these so I should have some like really nice ones for spring fingers crossed because when I took props they had aerials and you should always do that trust me I need to make a video on that too but look at these can we just literally how nice is that this is not the newest leaf that's the second newest leaf there that is the last leaf it hasn't fully hardened off that's why it looks a bit greeny compared to like these but honestly this plant and a ton of others just has the best spread of variegation. It's nothing like the previous plant. It's really, really sexy. It's weird for me, this plant, you know, because even though it's kind of like creamy yellow variegation, people still love it and people don't like yellow variegation very much. I know I'm generalizing there, but we all kind of know it's true. But it's really, really nice to see that plants like this have survived that. And this is one that kind of supersedes it. I've talked about this plant before. It's very, it's a good plant to invest in because they hold their value. They've never really tanked in value, probably because they're difficult to propagate you know, really, really troublesome. It's not the easiest thing. I get away with it because I've got aerials for days. That's definitely my tip. If you're going to propagate these, do not do it without. Honestly, you can if you want, but your chance of losing whatever cutting it is, if there's no aerial roots, it's really high and it's not worth it. It's like, don't cut it at all then. Get it climbing maybe on a pole, anything you can to get aerial roots, but just wanted to show you this because it's like a reverse flex of the last plant. <laughs> it's really, really pretty. Look at it. Can I move it back? Yeah! It's a nice one. It's probably not even the nicest I've got. It was just the best one that I could pull out to show you. But it's a really, really pretty plant. I like it. Oh, you know what it is? The next plant I'm about to show you, I literally, I cannot remember what it's called. Ah. <sighs> I can't remember. It begins with M. I'll put it on the screen. So, sorry. Again, I've only got one, so I've never had to remember the name. But this plant here is, it's something like, right, let me try and see if I butcher it. It's something like Philodendron Melonii, or it's something, it's something, it's something. <laughs> it's something. I don't know what it is, but I've got to show you the spread of variegation, and I've got to show you these petioles. This one here in particular, look at the petiole. Oh, it's so hot. So the newest leaf right now is actually, it's got soil on it, is this one here. Again, that's why it looks a bit greeny. Again, that's why it's not as bright as say this one that's had all the time in the world to harden off. This is a super easy grow, by the way. It's not quick, but it grows well and things don't go crispy and nasty. They stay kind of nice. So I do kind of commend its efforts. I'd like to show you those petioles there. Can you see that if I tilt it? These two petioles on the bottom. It's got great variegation if I tip it back and you can see the whole plant. Yes, it's a weird shape. I think there's normally plants here behind it and it's kind of grown off a shelf. That's why it's looking a bit, it's not looking its best, but it is a really, really pretty plant. Propagation wise, I wouldn't like to prop it. I mean, I've got aerial roots coming off it and what have you, but I don't think I would really like to have to propagate that. I might be able to take a head cutting in time. Maybe I need to get it climbing. Maybe this is a good one to put on a pole over the winter and see how we get it going. But it's a very, very beautiful plant. And I, I had to flex this, to be honest. I think that's what this video is. It's just like a variegation flex, except from one plant, which is the variegated pillotai. <laughs> oh, I do love it though. Look at that. Oof, oof. Very nice. So this plant that I'm about to show you now, the last plant I have to show you today is on a pole, but it hasn't always been on the pole. It's been on the pole for a matter of days. So it does get smaller leaves as it gets taller. Whereas if it was on the pole earlier, it probably wouldn't. I'll show you it anyway. I don't know what people think about this plant, but this here, I'm gonna try not to hit my microphone with it. Ew, ew, shit on the bottom. This here, you can't even see, can you? I have to twist it a really weird way. This here is variegated domesticum. And I talk about this plant 
sort of a lot on this channel. It's one of the, the variegated plants that are worth a little bit more money. But the cool thing about these is, I don't know if you can see, I'm never able to show you mature leaves. And to be honest, these aren't super mature, but I want to show you the best ones I've got. This one was here when I bought it. Can you see here, I put it up next to my shoulder, how kind of long and pointy they get? Do you see what I'm saying? It, they do have a really nice shape. They're very triangular and nice. I mean, it depends if you like that kind of thing. Obviously, not the best flex of a variegated domesticum because it does get smaller, as you can probably see at the top. Although it's got excellent variegation. Obviously, this hasn't hardened off yet. It's um, It's gone juvenile. You know, my bad. Should have done something about it. Just have a look at these. There's that one there. And then this one here, which is actually really sexy. We like that a lot. I think the, my favorite leaf out of all of these is probably... It could be that one, you know. No, it's this bottom one. It's this lower one. So basically, my favorite leaf on this plant is one that I absolutely did not grow myself. So yeah, it's growing up this pool. I'll try and hold it up to the camera a little bit so you can see it a little bit better rather than my face. That's kind of what it's looking like. It does have some good aerials. I mentioned this a few times, but this shop just grows aerials so well. It's, it's one of the reasons I'm even able to do business at all to be honest i'd be just so fucked without it but this shop grows aerials really well so it's it's doing quite well in that sense we'll see how it goes as i say it's only been on here a couple of days so it's gonna take maybe a couple of weeks to really grab onto this pole but i have every faith that it will i might even let it live up here you know that is kind of what they look like if you wanted to know what they look like when they get a bit mature and they get pointier than this by the way they get even cooler i think they get a little bit longer as well i don't know if this has changed your opinion on them again it's a bit funky it kind of needs to it needs to have all its foliage come to the front like that and just grow bigger and better but I really like the plant and I'm still a bit of an advocate for it. Hopefully I've got some of these for spring. I don't have a ton of these, you know. I think I have maybe half a tree and that includes this one. So I don't actually have that many. I'll try and get some going though because I personally, I believe in them and I think they can grow really, really quickly. So they might be quite a nice plant to have. But there you go, variegated domesticum. It could look better, but it could look a hell of a lot worse. One more thing, one more thing. Now, I know you're thinking, you're thinking, how on earth, Kaylee, can you do a variegated video without mentioning the obvious? And the answer is, you can't. So I'm gonna show you two specimens of this plant I have up here. And again, I'm looking at one now off camera. There is some shipping damage because they were shipped over and they had a really rough ride. But I wanna show you them anyway, because there's some variegation that's become even more obvious on these. So here is my beautiful variegated gloriosum. Obviously my favorite plant probably in the shop right now, although there's different bits of it. This is one of the leaves here. I won't spend too long on it. That's a really weird one because the variegations kind of come from the edge of the leaf. This leaf here is all green and that's the newest leaf. We will see what happens with this one. It may have reverted. And I know there is a random petiole here. I've kept it on to remind myself that it is variegated. Can you see that? I know it's not quite focusing on the middle of the screen, but can you see that there? There is variegation running up it. So what I'll probably do is I will cut this and then see if we can get more out of that. If you guys have seen the video that I did on the unicorn plants where I unveiled the Gloriosum, I think this was the plant I showed and I pointed at the caterpillar and I said, look, I think there is a lot of white on this caterpillar. So, you know, there is hope. The leaf isn't out yet, but the variegation on the caterpillar is now ridiculously obvious. So I'm going to show you this and I'm going to just take it straight to the camera because it's awesome. You see that? Look at that. That is amazing. Oh my God. I'm really, really excited about this. So yeah, I'll recap it very quickly. This is the same Gloriosum that I showed on that video. Yes, it's got damaged leaf. That's because inspectors don't give a shit. There was then this leaf again, that was green. And then there was this leaf here that's kind of suffered now. I don't know what's happened. It's almost like something's dropped on it, but it's gone crispy there. I mean, this happens, doesn't it? With acclimation and variegated plants. So kind of a good thing I videoed it when I did, to be honest, because that's a bit sad, but the variegation in here seems to be very good. So basically the plan with both of these plants is to just monitor the variegation, cut the, you know, the stem wherever I can, and then we will just try and grow out from chunks and we'll just see what happens because I don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, that was it for today's video showcasing some of my favorite variegated plants in the shop. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do you have a favorite variegated plant right now? Or do you not even like variegated plants? Because honestly, a lot of people that watch my videos don't actually love variegation all that much. And honestly, a lot of my favorite plants, like out of all of them, are not variegated. In fact, I am one of these people that kind of prefers green plants. Obviously, I have favorite variegates, but a lot of the time I prefer the old green version. For example, I absolutely love this guy. This guy's great. This is just a plain old forgetty eye and he doesn't even have the silver veining on him. He's just plain. And I think he's one of the best things ever. He's one of my favorites. So variegation isn't everything. And I know I'm showcasing variegated plants here today, but 
it's really not everything. And I would be really curious to, to see who like loves it, who hates it, who doesn't care and, and everything else. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. You can catch me on any of my social feeds down below. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I also have a collection of merch. The link for that is in the description. And I guess that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.